Here we go versus Diddy5 and why is heating that? Okay. That's an interesting. Oh! Rotovan uses hidden power in Stone Age. He gets bluffed. Oh, his balloon is popped in his fan is grothered in the hello. Good god, golly man. What will that thing do next? You think the Rotom would want to inhabit a fan-like creature? And how do you poison a fan? How does that work? Hepaudon. This seems to be Ranbats. This game is crazy. What will you do next? The Rotom fan. He switches out to an Anorith. The Anorith gets stone-edged right in the face. Those eyeballs are gouged right out of him. The Hippowdon is made of sand, so maybe we could plug up his holes with him. He uses Brick Brick. He breaks his teeth. There goes more Stone Edge. And the Anorith is down. There are only five Pokemon remaining on the heating side. Kingdra, he just goes in. He's swimming in the sand, apparently. This background is very effective for Hippowdon. It gives him very good ambiance. Kingdra being very sick from the deadly toxic. God, the Hippowdon. Where did the Pucus mucus come from? It's purple, but none of, none of his body is purple. This is the craziest battle I've ever seen. There are greens and reds everywhere, just popping up, just with percentage numbers. The Electrike gets taken out. The Electrike, despite having a good electricity versus... Oh my god! Electrike just volt switches right out of there. He can't take the heat, so he's getting out of the proverbial kitchen. Good god, his telewagging is very good. Oh my goodness, the Erdino! What will this Ardino do? Will he? Protect, yes, he will! The outrage, it confuses him. He's confounded in his own outrage. The leftovers, they, they increase his HP, but the poison is just too much. The Kingdra faints and is buried in the sand as a fossil. It may be become a fossil Pokemon in Generation 12. I don't know. I don't know. What will he do next? He simply returns the favor. Joltik, in his tininess, being one of the most small Pokemon in all of existence, bug buzzes and next to death. Oh my god, the returns even more favors. It's like borrowing a cup of sugar from your neighbor. The shit just goes crazy. Oh, the bug buzz! Oh, Jotlik, with his life orb, he just loses too much HP. Oh, my bad. It wasn't a life orb. It was sandstorm. It's just it's too much sand. The sand got in his, I don't know, his ruffles and his quills. Those things ticks and tarantulas have. Oh, my God. He do just pluck. He's trying to pluck the ear and the fuzziness from his tails. Pidov, now paralyzed and under a lot of stress, admittedly, he, he did just lose his house, his birdhouse. It's very lovely. It's a lovely house. You should see it, there, there's not a bird shit on it. Electrite come in, probably volt switching. But then he switches back to a Rotom fan, but he predicts as such and then uses his hidden power. Which most likely... Hmm, what kind of hidden power would that be? Let's see, he was a he was an electric ghost, so no wait, he was a, a flying ghost. Huh. I wonder what type of hmm. It's possible hidden power dark? Not sure. Artillery used the la the the rock blast, but both alarms throw is just too bouncy. It's too bouncy. It's just the, the, the rocks just got thrown back at artillery. And Bovelin bursts in with a head charge. Arcturalin uh, is striking back with a hydro pump. He's just washing his hair, his fro. Where's the shampoo attack? What can, what can he do without shampoo? If Bovelin's... If, if his hair fizzes out, he got too many... Too many bad ends. He can go out of style and then... Diddy P Diddy. 
Diddy, that is. Would... He wouldn't have enough to do. Good God. p Dove gets in there and he's down the Stone Age. He's just distraught. Distraught by the Wolves. My God, this is aggression. Like in sub my shit. For Christ's sake.